don't know a whole lot about Cloverdale, California. And are you even considering a move here? If you are, this is absolutely a video you must watch. What's up guys, my name is Danny, I'm Cronin. I'm a real estate agent right here in Sonoma County. And if this is your very first time to my channel, please do yourself a huge favor, hit that subscribe button so you're notified. Next time I drop a video, which is once a week, every single week, all having to do with living in Sonoma County. And I make all of these videos, but at the end of the day, I'm a full-time real estate agent. And as much as I love making these videos, I would also love the opportunity to help you make Sonoma County home. All of my contact information is down below. Please call me text me, email me, whatever's most convenient for you. And with all that being said, let's get right into this week's video. All right, so let's first give you a little bit of a background about Cloverdale, California. It is Sonoma County's most northern part of town. This town is very, very small and it has that quiet town feel. There's only about 8,500 people that currently reside in Cloverdale, California. And you are pretty far north. If you were to just hop on 101 again, jump in the car, go for about 20 to 25 minutes, you'll end up in Hopland, which is even more northern uh, than Cloverdale. And if you were just to come about 15, 20 minutes south, that's gonna drop you right into Healdsburg, California. And overall, Cloverdale is known for its country vibe, small town living, affordable, and we'll get into more of that later on in this video. But overall, Cloverdale is a great place to be if you are looking for that small town feel and more affordable places to live. Things to do in Cloverdale, California. There's a ton of fun things to do. They are actually home to the Citrus Fair that happens in the summertime, and it's absolutely a must go to if you do live nearby. It's awesome. They have all of the local kids from the schools there, all of the adults and everyone just kind of makes their own float, float down the way there and you can have tons of great food, great vendors, there's live music and there's just tons of fun to be had. Next to that there's a KOA which is absolutely amazing. My wife's parents travel a lot, they have a home here so in the summertime they'll come and they'll stay at this KOA and they'll camp. They have a giant RV which is absolutely amazing but uh, they'll come and camp, we'll go and visit them. There's like bocce ball there, there's indoor um, arcade games, there's ponds to go fishing at, there's hiking trails and all sorts of fun stuff. And it's awesome that Cloverdale has a KOA here in town because it is definitely a fun place to visit during the summertime. On Friday nights, they do live concerts, which is absolutely incredible. Live music up and down the strip there. You can walk around, get some good food, listen to some good tunes. And overall, Cloverdale just has a different vibe than a lot of the other cities, especially Santa Rosa. It's kind of the polar opposite. Santa Rosa's a lot more homes on top of each other. There's a lot more people. The downtown's a lot bigger. Cloverdale, again, it's quiet. It's kind of that outdoorsy feel, that really small town vibe. It seems like everybody there like still knows a lot of the people that live there, which is incredible. You just don't see that anymore these days. But if you're really looking up for, looking to like switch the pace a little bit, maybe you're into that slower thing, maybe you're gonna go there to retire, whatever the case is, you have to check out Cloverdale simply because it's a lot different than all of the other cities in Sonoma County. I mentioned affordability in the beginning of this video and Cloverdale's median home price sits right around $573,000. Again, I say this all the time, but I know California is extremely expensive, but when you're looking in the Sonoma County area, uh, you know, just to kind of give some context here, Santa Rosa's median home price is around $775,000. So Cloverdale falls well underneath that. And I think for the money, you really do get a, a lot for your money. There's, you know, you can buy bigger homes here on bigger pieces of land. Again, you're not right on top of your neighbor. You know, it's a smaller town, not a whole lot to do in Cloverdale. Uh, but when it comes to real estate and affordability, if that's something that that checks the boxes for you, if you're looking for the outdoor vibe, if you want to be closer to, you know, the river, if you want to, you know, have fun uh, activities to do in Healdsburg because you're not too far away, then Heel Cloverdale is definitely a place you have to check out. Uh, but overall, some of the real estate in Cloverdale is incredible. I mean, you really just will not find that anywhere other than Cloverdale if you're looking for more room, more land, your neighbors are further away, the houses ha are built with a lot of character. They're not like that brand new construction that you see all around now in Sonoma County. 
Uh, but that's just a little bit of a background of the real estate. Now there are definitely some cons to Cloverdale and the one thing that I absolutely cannot stand about Cloverdale is how hot it gets. I am spoiled. I I'm born and bred here in California, Sonoma County. So uh, Cloverdale, but for me, it just gets way too hot. And it's not like the heat is too much. Like, you know, we get up into the 80s, 90s and 100s, but something about Cloverdale, I don't know what it is. There's just dry heat. It's not humidity. It's just that uncomfortable kind of makes you just want to sit at home and crank the AC all day kind of heat. For me, that's a huge deterrent to Cloverdale because again, I'm a big old baby uh, when it comes to weather. But um, other than, you know, the heat, you know, I think the number two probably con to Cloverdale for me, I mentioned a lot of things to do in this video uh, in Cloverdale, but overall, if you're looking at some of the other cities, uh, there's just not a whole lot to do, right? Santa Rosa has a big downtown. Healdsburg has a big downtown. Sonoma has a big downtown. Cloverdale, while it may say it has a downtown, there's not a whole lot to do there. There's maybe one or two restaurants, maybe a bar or two, and that's about it. It's pretty much a pass through town for a lot of people, uh, either heading up north or going back down south to wherever they live. Uh, but Cloverdale, uh, for me, that, that's something that really stands out. Not a whole lot to do. Hopefully, later on, uh, it's going to be a good investment. Maybe they're going to build in Cloverdale. Maybe, you know, companies are going to come here, whatever the case is. But for now, not a whole lot going on if you're maybe single or, you know, whatever the case is, you're younger, you're looking for activity, nightlife, uh, definitely stay away from Cloverdale if those things are important to you. But uh, there's a ton of pros about Cloverdale. Number one for me is that it's just quiet and it's just different, right? It's a different vibe. People move a lot slower here. Uh, it's just a fun place to hang out. The summertime activities are great. Definitely a fun little spot to get away to. Being so close to the river, being so close to Healdsburg, uh, all of these things are definitely a huge, huge plus for Cloverdale. And that's gonna wrap this one up, guys. If you have any questions at all about Cloverdale, maybe you're thinking about purchasing here or in the Sonoma County area, all of my contact information is down below. Call, text, email, whatever's most convenient for you. And thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.